okay okay yes good morning everyone today we are going to solve uh, two numerical problems related to zero input response and zero state response as i already covered in the previous class regarding uh, the procedure that needs to be followed while solving for a linear differential equation in case of zero input response and zero state response so let me share my screen now yes now the problem would be given like this where you have to evaluate where you have to evaluate the zero state response zsr i am writing the short form zero input response and total response of the system and total response of the system total response of the system total response of the system the given differential equation would be like this y dash of t plus pi y of t that would be equal to u of t the unit step function and given initial condition that is y of 0 equals 2 remember this is the given differential equation i have y dash of t that would be equal to d by dt of y of t okay so now this is the differential equation first step what i would like to do to calculate to calculate zero input response zero input response zero input response yes now how do i calculate the zero input response first one the characteristic equation the characteristic equation the characteristic equation okay so how do you write the characteristic equation s plus 5 that would be equal to now in order to calculate the zero input response z i r okay so input zero like zero input now i take the input to be equal to zero there now the root of the characteristic equation s will be equal to minus 5 that is only one root is there because the order of the differential equation is said to be one y dash okay that would be equal to one that is once you are going to differentiate the output of the system so yes will be equal to minus 5 now i know the value of yes would be equal to minus 5 the root is said to be real and distinct and the root is said to be real and distinct now how do i calculate the natural response of the system once the root is said to be real and distinct i have k e power minus 5t okay so k1 or k something like that so to make it clear i would like to add on k1 itself so so the natural response of the system yn of t so hope you remember natural response how do i got k1 e power minus 5t right so yn of t that would be equal to k1 e power minus 5t now to calculate the zero input response okay to calculate to calculate zero input response zero input response zero input response so how do i do it so to calculate the zero input response y zi so y refers to the response of the system or the output of a system so i have y zi of t that would be equal to the input response that is the natural response without uh, the input being taken into consideration i have k1 e power minus 5t where the initial condition is to be taken into picture there so when the initial condition is taken into picture i have y of 0 that would be equal to 2 that is already specified in the problem so what i do here y z i of 0 that would be equal to k1 e power minus 5 at the place of t i would be taking 0 that would be equal to 2 the output to calculate the zero input response i need the constant where is k1 that is k1 which needs to be evaluated so k1 would be equal to 2 there so it is entirely dependent on the constant 
value that is there which acts as a multiplying factor in case of a zero input response the zero input response that is y z i of t that would be equal to 2 e power minus phi t where i take k1 value to be equal to 2 there so the zero input response this is z i r okay so the zero input response y z i of t that would be equal to 2 e power minus phi t so that is the zero input response of the system okay so to calculate the zero input response of a system so these are the steps that needs to be followed first you are doing the natural response of the system you are calculating it depending on the roots of the characteristic equation then you are taking the initial conditions into picture so this is for the initial conditions taking the initial conditions yes taking the initial conditions into picture next i have y z i of t as 2 e power minus phi t how did i get that so once you are giving t is equal to 2 this is the value of t is equal to 2 its output will be equal to 2 here t is equal to 0 you have 2 y of 0 equals 2 so t is equal to 0 k1 e power minus phi into 0 that is equal to 2 so k1 will have 2 here so that is the zero input response of the system. So I'll use this to find out the total response of the system later on. Yes. Now to calculate the zero state response, to calculate the zero state response, zero state response, zero state response. Fine. So now that is ZSR that is there. Okay. So to calculate ZSR, yes, let me go step by step now to calculate the ZSR with zero initial conditions. Keep in mind here, zero initial conditions. Very important step here. So in your mathematics uh, concepts of differential equations, linear differential equations, you would have come across a concept called as particular solution that is there. So in the same manner, I'm going to do it. So now I need to check the input. What is the input that is given here? The input given is a unit step function. The input given is a unit step function. Now, for a unit step function, it is nothing but a constant here. So how do I write a unit step function? Where t would be greater than 0, it is 1. In other cases, it is 0 there. So this is u of t signal that is there. Next, for an uh, input for a input for a input x of t equals u of t which is a constant okay so it is said to be a constant input now what would be the structure of the forced response the structure the structure of the forced response the structure of the forced response will be given by so how it is given so y f of t so how can you write the uh, step response i mean sorry how you can write the first response of a system y f of t so with given input so you can write it as another constant say c right so depending on the structured response tabla column that i had given you so the forced response of the system that would be equal to c there right so next I can replace the structure of the force response in the given uh, differential equation plus y, y f of t, that would be equal to 1. So its value here, I'm not talking about anything. So 1 into u of t, that would be equal to u of t again. So the right-handed signal that is generally having a value equal to 1, I can write it. Now, y f dash, that would be equal to 0. Y f dash of t that would be equal to 0. 0 plus phi c that would be equal to 1. c would be equal to 1 by phi that is equal to point yeah point 0.2 I guess. So point 0.2 or 1 by phi you can write it. Okay. So 1 by phi. Okay. So that's how we can uh, write it for the other one. Okay. So you can write the forced response of a system force the response of a system that is being equal to 0.2 okay remember here now why 
zero state response okay so y z s of t that is the zero state response is given by is given by the natural response of the system y n of t plus y f of t okay so remember this very clearly i have the zero state response of the system it is given by y n of t plus y f of t so how we are going to replace y n of t so we had taken the initial conditions and we had found out y z i of t right so that is y z i of t so y n of t if you can uh, relate it okay if you can relate it with y n of t okay so y n of t how would it look like k1 e power minus 5t don't write it as 2e uh, e power minus 5t write it as k1 e power minus 5t so this is the natural response of the system plus y f of t okay what is y f of t that is 0.2 so that is the zero state response of the system y z s of t so now i have y z s of t is given as k1 e power minus 5t plus 0.2 now how do i calculate the unknown constant k1 so in order to calculate y z s of t so you need to take the initial conditions into picture so take initial conditions equals 0 take initial conditions to be 0 so in order to take the initial conditions zero so i have t which would be equal to zero that so at t is equal to zero once you give it okay it will be zero here so initial conditions would be equal to zero so now i have i have the initial conditions which is equal to zero here now let me take t is equal to zero so i'll give it as t equals zero here now why z s of 0 that would be equal to 0 how can i write it k1 e power minus 5 into 0 plus 0.2 that would be equal to 0 so this one that is k1 that would be equal to minus 0.2 okay k1 equals minus 0.2 it is just like a, a iterative process that keeps on uh, repeating and how you can write it as yz yes of t that would be equal to minus 0.2 e power minus 5t plus 0.2 okay so that is yz s of t so once i have yz s of t and yz i of t i can calculate the total response of the system so the total response of the system total response of the system okay so considering the linear differential equation and z i r and z s r Z I R plus Z S R. Okay, so the total response of the system Y total in after calculating Z I R and Z S R. Okay, Z S R. So that is Y Z I of T plus Y Z S of T. Okay, so Y Z I of T. What is Y Z I of T? So where did you calculate it? So Y Z I of T. If you can remember. Okay. so if you can remember y z i of t i'll just show you here those who like want to know what is y z i of t so y z i of t is 2 times e power minus 5 t 2 times e power minus 5 t okay yeah 2 times e power minus 5 t plus y z s of t what is y z s of t that is minus 0.2 minus 0.2 e power minus 5t plus 0.2. Okay, this is the addition that is there. Okay, so what uh, needs to be done once you have the post response along with the uh, zero input, uh, I mean zero initial conditions taken into picture there, right? So the post response is taken as 0.2. Okay, so zero state response along with the natural one with the post response you are going to have Z S R. So zero state response will have both natural response plus the other one that is the forced response right so natural response plus forced response so zsr will be there if i have a constant in the natural response of the system what i can do is i can take the initial conditions to be equal to 
so 2 e power minus 5 t minus 0 0.2 e power minus 5 t plus 0 0.2 okay so i can write this one as uh, 1.8 a simple uh, subtraction that is 1.8 e power minus 5 t plus 0 0.2 okay so that is given as y total y total will be equal to 1.8 e power minus 5 t plus 0 0.2 this is 5 here okay so y total would be equal to 1.8 yeah going on to the next page y total would be equal to 1.8 e power minus 5 t plus 0 0.2 so this is the total response of the system considering both the considering considering the zero input response and zero state response okay so considering both of them i have uh, zero input response and zero state response i can write it like this so the next problem goes this way the second one evaluate evaluate the system response evaluate the system response system response of the following system of the following system following system that is y dash of t plus 5 y dash of t plus 6 y of t that would be equal to 2 times e power minus t u of t so now the order of the differential equation is 2 how many initial conditions i need to have i need to have two initial conditions y of 0 equals 0 next y dash of 0 that would be equal to 1 so depending on the order of the differential equation i need to have the initial conditions so take initial conditions take initial conditions okay i can it's already given in the problem it is given okay so we need to take into consideration if it is not given so any values would be quite easy for you to solve it and uh, the process of solving this zero input response and zero state response remains the same okay this problem i think uh, i'll give it to rachana she can solve it and uh, she can send me the solution okay third one so for the system given below for the system so once when i say it is a system it is being characterized in terms of the differential equation for the system given below for the system given below evaluate evaluate the natural natural forced zero input response zir zsr and total responses and total responses i repeat it is the total responses here okay so where you will be having two responses so zir and zsr assume assume y dash of 0 y dash of 0 equals 1 next y of 0 equals 0 so y2 dash of t plus 4 y dash of t plus 3 y of t equals 36 t times u of t 36 t times u of t so that's how uh, it is given in the uh, problem and uh, i can give this uh, problem to madhushri okay she can solve it and uh, she can send me so with this note i would like to end the session if there are any problems while solving so do let me know and uh, i can guide you with the solution okay so with this note i would like to end the session and uh, keep learning everyone okay thank you